Hi everybody! Today I will do a, a little bean ad for babies, newborn babies with orange because we will do a little pumpkin. To do that we'll need some orange yarn. I don't know what kind it is but by the feel of it I could say it's a 4, size 4 and it's something like, it's not premium but some something closer than that. To that, oops, my machine not set it right position. Okay, like this, and I will cast the machine by one at a time, like this one in the front, one in the back for the first row. Don't put too much tension on your first row because if you do your yarn gonna be uh, too too tight and when you do your first row your last one will be over this this way if you're in front of it you did something wrong so you have to come back and do it again so i prepare my yarn everything's there so i will do my little baby eye. So you try to keep the same speed because if you don't, your tension will change on your project. So be careful with that. Very important to keep the same speed. And don't put too much tension on your yarn, but try to keep a little one too. I reach 25 row I will cut my yarn like I do usually and then with the yarn needle I will go and pick up all the stitches from the machine If you could find some uh, baby sport orange, could be the best to do this project. Or any baby yarn that it's uh, around four. This one is a little bit too thick, but it's okay. I will keep doing my project. At least you will have the idea of my project.
and now it's time to stretch And you will need a crochet size 4 to finish the border. I did one stitch. I will do double. all the way like this for the first row I did all, or, all the circle doing double crochet and when I arrive at the end like this I will go and pick on top and go and like this and I will do another stitch like this and then I will continue to do double crochet but in front and the back so in front and the back go like this I will do that for this row in front And I go get the other one to do in the back. See? So in front, in the back. So I arrive to the end of the row. So I go in front, in the back, again in front, in the back, in front, and for the last, last one, I go and cut my yarn and I will go and pick here in this stitch get it out and it's done. it's finished now I have to remove this one used to to be the one that I attach all the stitches to either when I remove the project from the machine so now it's time to remove it because if you don't your hat will be so tight it's gonna be impossible to put that on a baby so I remove the hat sorry for the noise the kids are arrived from school so that's it for this one, we'll cut it and with the, your needle now it's time to hide the, all, the, all the little uh, yarn that left. Turn it, 
This one is okay. Okay, so now it's time for this one. I will attach those two together. And I will hide the yarn now. In, uh, in knitting you go like this. I know there's a different way, but for me it's what okay. So it's easy for me and it's fast. So I hide my yarn like this and I will go do the other one, same thing. Ready and put it there. That's it. I cut it. And I still have this long one to hide. The long one be okay too. I go back and forth and I will cut it after. And There. This part is done. I'll be back with the second part. I did all the all the circle doing double crochet. And when I arrive at the end like this I will go and pick on top and go and like this and I will do another stitch like this and then I will continue to do double crochet but in front and the back so in front and the back go like this I will do that for this row in front and I go get the other one to do in the back see so in front in the back So I arrive to the end of the row. So I go in front, in the back, again in front, in the back, in front. And for the last, last one, I go and cut my yarn and I will go and pick here in the stitch, get it out and it's, go, it's finished. 
now I have to remove this one used to to be the one that I attach all the stitches together when I remove the project from the machine so now it's time to remove it because if you don't your hat will be so tight it's gonna be impossible to put that on a baby so I remove the hat Sorry for the noise, the kids are arrived from school. Yeah, so that's it for this one. We'll cut it. And with the your needle now, it's time to eye the all the all the little uh, yarn that left. Turn it. This one is okay. Yeah, okay, so now it's time for this one. I will attach those two together. And I will hide the yarn now. In, uh, in knitting, you go like this. I know there's a different way, but for me it's what okay. So it's easy for me and it's fast. So I hide my yarn like this and I will go do the other one, same thing. ID and put it there that's it I cut it and I still have this long one to hide the long one be okay too I go back and forth and I will cut it after. There. This part is done. I'll be back with second part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. Look. Put your counter to zero and you go to your right. Then roll, third roll. You have to be careful. All you need is to get your yarn to pass through this red peg and you come back. That's the only thing you need to do. Pass this one, make sure you go under it like this and you come back. And you keep a little tension on your yarn here with your hand. Push this. And come back. Push it down. And 
and we got 10. So I will cut my yarn. And turn a last time to make sure that uh, my project get easier out of the machine. Nah, it's not attached to it anymore. So I will do with a yarn needle. Pick all the stitches, one after the other one. Sorry for the light. And I will pull like this. And for the other side, I will go there and remove the little knot. Because when we do a flat panel, it's a little knot, knot, knot. So we just pull that like this. And that's it. That's all I need for my little pumpkin. You could sew it together if you want, but you don't have, you don't have to. Just make sure you do a double knot in both hands. And do the same thing the other side. Stretch it <clears throat> and I want I just want to put the yarn in the same side like this. Yeah. I grab my little hat. And with my yarn needle, I will go and pick just not in the middle, just a side of it. Now, and same thing, the other side. I got the two, turn it, and I'm not gonna tie it, just do two double knot, and it will be okay. Tight, I cut it, that's it, and I will do with the crochet, I will do some strength, some two. I will go here close to this and grab if you can't grab the, the lower part to all put that together yeah. and we're gonna chant it like 10 or or 12 how you how you want it and when you cut it make sure you give yourself a lot of uh, strength because you don't want to have a little piece of yarn getting out when it's done Down. so we'll do that four or five times to grab the green one too got 
got it. And we will do that again. Do another one. Two, three, four. I get enough. Yeah, I get enough. Let's we'll just go cover this one a little bit more. your yarn I will show you for one and after that I will let you do yours okay, okay here you're gonna go with your, uh, your needle and go like this Turn around just one side of your chain. And go hide it in the green part. Voila. See, this one is done. So you could cut. I don't know where it is. Here. You could cut this one now. One done, four to go. So we're now gonna do the other eye. This one I did one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We will come here in the middle. There. Oops. Wrong side. Like 
this and back and I'm going to get this side to finish it I picked it inside not complicated and I need to turn it don't tie it too tight because you want to keep your triangle like they are right now so I did double knot I don't have to eye that yarn because it's okay like that all I have to do now still to do it's the mouth You could get, decide to keep it like this or you could decide to add a mouth. There, I'm finished my little uh, pumpkin baby hat. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great night.